Time for Power Profile, sponsored by Salus Marineware. Getting together for a fun day on the water with the family is what boating is all about for an awful lot of people. And that's something that BRP has been helping out with for years with their lineup of sport boats. This week on Power Profile, we'll take a look at the Sea-Doo 180 Challenger SE, a boat offering a big bang for the buck. The Sea-Doo Challenger may be on the small side with a length of 17 feet 10 inches and a beam of 8 feet 2 inches, but you do get a lot of room and performance in a lightweight boat that can be trailered easily. Boarding from the water is aided by the telescopic ladder, generous handholds on the swim platform, and the removable cushions that save wear and tear on the aft seat. The rear bench seat seats three in comfort with secure handholds in the gunnels in between the seat cushions and plenty of storage under the outboard cushions. The cockpit liner is self-bailing with snapped-in carpet and it has a large lockable ski locker in the sole. The port side helm seat is a tracking and swiveling bucket seat and the helm has a very large lockable glove box that hides the AM FM CD satellite ready stereo that drives four speakers and also has a driver's side remote and MP3 input. The helm seat is also a full swivel and tracking bucket to handle all sizes of captains. The dash is covered with padded grey vinyl that really cuts the glare on the windshield and protects the twin instruments from the sun. Our 180 SE tester was a prototype, so the proper bezel and trim for the instruments was not installed, but the sea digital instruments provide comprehensive data on what is going on with the boat and the engines at the touch of a button. As with all sea sport boats, engine control is provided by twin sticks for throttle and shift. Folding open the windshield provides access to the bow where you'll find flanking seats, again with storage underneath, and backrests for lounging. Removing the forward cushion reveals the anchor locker and storage for the infill cushions and supports that convert the entire bow area to a full sun lounge. Beyond the big picture, sea has thought out the little details as well, such as the six stainless steel retractable cleats, the plentiful stainless cup holders, ten solid grab handles, storage in the gunnels, and a ski eye in the transom. Our tester also had a standard bimini top and a sturdy optional wakeboarding power. Back aft at the transom, sea has thoughtfully incorporated hatches with the starboard side providing storage and the port allowing for quick access to the battery switch, battery, and coolant fill. Pulling a release under the center of the transom seat allows you to raise the hatch to access a removable storage tray that provides access to the engine compartment. The 180 Challenger SE is available with two power options, a 215 horsepower Rotex Fortec and a 255 horsepower version. This Rotec supercharged intercooled high output version is installed in our test boat and should deliver plenty of punch. So let's head out on the water and see how it performs. Out on the open water, the Challenger handles quite well without any forethought. But one of the real pluses is the rapid response to steering and throttle inputs not found on an outboard or I.O. powered boat, making the sea quite tossable and fun. The rapid hookup of the single stage jet pump and the Rotax's 255 horsepower had the 180 rocketing to 20 miles per hour in 3.3 seconds, to 30 in 5.7, and 40 miles per hour in 9.5. Lightly loaded, I was able to maintain 50.1 miles per hour at 7,700 RPM. The newly improved hull enhances the handling characteristics that were quite evident in high speed sweeping and tight turns. Sea-Doo really pulled out all the stops with this new 180 Challenger SE. The revised modified deep V hull certainly handles the chop much better and the optional 255 horsepower from the Rotax engine certainly ups the fun factor.